Okay. Uh, hey, there's the restaurant. Last thing, but seeing as we don't care about satiation, who cares? Okay, so attack speed, gold drop, and evasion. I don't even need the gold drop at this point. Let's see. Do we get the... No, no, no. We'll get, we'll get the max health in the next one. Uh, let's see. Are the frame drop frames dropping on this? You might actually be mistaking the uh, the really bad screen shake with frames dropping because it makes things look really really choppy, uh, comparatively. At least it's at least it's possible, but I'm not dropping any frames. Since I moved out here, the only times I ever drop frames is when my entire stream goes down. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a, a day where it's just like a little bit of frame droppage. No, I've had a couple of those days, but that was usually a precur precursor to my internet dying horribly. Let's see, uh, I, the reach on this red pickaxe is way longer than you think it would be, which keeps surprising me, actually, uh, because, like, I was really expecting the, uh, the red pick pickaxe to have, like, a, a shorter reach and stuff. Wander every floor so far, I'll get max HP next floor. Well, part of it is, like, I don't quite feel like I deserve, uh, some of this, like, I have no idea how balanced this run is for me. Um. And so it's kind of the question of, like, you know, do I even deserve it? Should I, like, sacrifice something to fit it in? I don't know, and I can't tell because I don't have satiation. Uh, let's see, wasn't he gonna get Bimbabap? Bimbap. You know what? I was also going to get Bimbap. Okay, you know what? Whatever. We'll just get the max HP on this floor, whatever it is. And I'll get the... Jeez. Uh, we'll get the satiation on this floor, and then we'll get the uh, other things. This is a red pickaxe. I would have called it a scythe a million times over. Uh, probably translation, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's a seven percent. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good one. Let's get the bibimbap. Not of gold. Oh, I ran out of cash. Well, uh, we know where the shop is. Let's. Nope, we don't know where the shop is. All right, let's clear the floor. Uh, I'll be able to afford the bibimbap. After, you know, after I'm done with this game, I really should sit, go to a, find a Korean restaurant and be like, I want the bimbap. Give me, give me your best bibimbap. And they'll probably be like, sure. I mean, it's just, it's on the menu. You don't need to be demanding about it. I'm like, bimbap me. I like, I don't think I'd ever turn into a Logan Paul type character because I, I think I would hate myself. But every once in a while, I do want to just be like a weird, weird shit at like, not a restaurant, but like a, a public event. Like, oh, dude, I want to go to a QA and a for a YouTuber I've met before online, but has never seen my face. And I want to just ask them really stupid questions. Uh, who's a YouTuber I know that's never seen me? No idea. I, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'm actually meeting some more YouTubers, so it's entirely possible that, like, we will get to that point. Uzi would be kind of fun. But I am poor. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's be less poor. Hello! I could just sell the Savage Axe. Let's... Something here has got to sell for, like, a bunch. Let's sell the Black Rose Sword. Oh, yeah, that's enough money. Go ask PewDiePie some dumb questions. I don't think if... Uh, I don't think PewDiePie, uh, does conventions. Like, I've seen Game Grumps lines. They're nuts. I still don't have enough money for the bib 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 bib. The bomba bib. Okay, so let's just sell that. And that. Actually, while we're here, let's just sell everything that is worth peanuts. Uh, it'll be a bit of a damage down, but health up going into the boss. Uh, but we mostly want to hoard things that are worth more uh, for later levels when I need more money. Maybe. I did have enough for the bib 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 that bib until I sold something else. This is entirely true. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty hale and hearty. No food drops the entire floor, which is weird. Okay, well, uh, let's go. Yeah, I've got a, I got a ton of health. My H, my damage is only a seventy-five percent bonus. That's still pretty good. <laughs> I 
Wanda does not have the money for the bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Hello! The one problem is I can't really tell. Ow. Uh. I can't really tell. What he. Uh. What he's going to do. It's hard to tell his patterns. Like this. Okay. I do. Oh! I can delete the. I can delete the fireballs from existence now. It's tough, though. I gotta watch out for a little bit, because he does do a bunch of damage, but still. Anyway, he is dead. Let's see, what about Direwolf420 if you do Minecraft conventions? I don't even play Minecraft, man. Oh, yeah. Not having to worry about that burn is helpful. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, uh... Who I'd ambush or something like that. It'd just be really it'd just be really funny to show up and like after after having like some level of an online friendship. Uh who's a good example? I guess uh I don't know if C Top knows what I look like. Eh, C Top probably knows what I look like. Maybe not Blitz. Just be like a complete uh just ask some like really stupid questions to Blitz at a convention. I'm actually not sure if Blitz goes to conventions, much less does QA's there. Northern Lion. I I get the feeling Northern Lion is probably aware of my existence, and that's about the extent. And, like, that man is busy enough, I'm never going to try and impose upon him in any way, shape, or form. Like, uh... I don't know, his entire group. They're cool dudes, and I don't want to mess with them too much. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, right, we're sold out on the boo 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 but that's fine, I don't care about the bit 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 bit. Not of gold shit. Well, it's okay. We've we've made all of our expensive purchases. So yeah, at this point, I think I could probably safely safely just uh limit myself based on money more than anything else. Other than my would be fun to mess with. I no doubt. But like to some degree, I don't want to piss off anybody that, like, I might try and, like, reach out to do videos with at some point. I'd rather m mess with them once they understand that I'm a... I'm kind of a dick to people I like. Like, I'd much rather... Uh, I'd much rather, like, kind of do what I did with Avac, which is mostly, you know, just be nice and polite and not mess with people. Uh then, you know, more or less go full troll from uh, day one and just kind of ruin everything. Because I've had people try and do that. I had one guy actively try and, like, make me mad when we were doing an Isaac race together, and it was just... It wasn't even, like... It wasn't even funny. It was just frustrating, and I was like, I don't... I don't even, we don't even have a dynamic, let alone the, whatever the heck you're throwing at me. And so I've, like, always been a little bit um, gun-shy about stuff like that. Control them of the cyborg races. Yeah, that's the thing. I sneak in the sneak. I, I sneak in the the quiet jokes, the things that uh, that they don't notice initially. Okay, so we we have the attack speed. We just want the evasion. Okay, there we go. Evasion's at seventy one percent. We might make it. Actually, we'll see. Uh, buh, buh, buh. yeah, we're good. Damage is a little low, uh, compared to what we've done, but the Max health is good. And what the fuck is with that attack speed? Uh, it's 11.5 attacks per second on a weapon that has no business doing this much damage. <laughs> oh, this is... Yeah, everybody says go Lotus with the red pickaxe. Clearly they haven't been playing Criminal Silhouette enough. See, so wonder would you ever visit Canada? I'm actually toying with the idea of going to... Um, Tenacon, actually. I've been to Canada many times. In fact, um, I mean, I'm from Minnesota originally, so you, like, going to going to Canada was not exactly much of an ordeal. It was just kind of normal. Uh, but when I moved to, uh, when I moved to, when I moved to, like, Boston area, uh, Charm of Power. Nah. Now nah, I've got the 10% crit. It's probably better. Um, 
But when I moved to Boston, we actually would go up to Nova Scotia for vacation constantly. It was really nice. Nova Scotia is a pretty place. Okay, so oh, I don't have enough gold. We might not actually be able to get enough. Let's, uh... Well, this is why I was holding on to the really valuable items. Let's grab the gold drop bonus. For starters. Let's see, did anybody ever tell Avak about the, uh, the Dapperlings troll? Uh, people told him immediately in the comments section. Because, you know, I didn't exactly keep it very quiet. Let's see, Nova Scotia is pretty nice. New Brunswick has some nice places too. Yeah, uh, I've been to New Brunswick a number uh, number of times. Not as often. Uh, we mostly would go up to New Brunswick, Brunswick once my brother was in college, because he went to he went to college up in I don't remember what town. It was kind of like, oh hi, okay, that's an interesting question. Let's see, sell some items. I could. This is probably a terrible idea. It's fun, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell some of more, my more expensive items. It's kind of why I was holding on to it anyway. Uh, let's see, what about Australia? I don't know if I'll make it to Australia anytime soon. I'd probably maybe, uh, maybe like, make the trip for, like, RTX. Or something just to be like, hey... Let's use this as a excuse to go out uh, to a completely different country. Honestly, I want to go to New Zealand a little bit more. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just freaking... Uh, I I loved the uh, Lord of the Rings series as a kid. I was uh, sure this isn't a QA. and a It sounds like a Q&A. I, yeah, I get a bit rambly. I just don't want people asking me, just like, are you going to play this? Why don't you play this? Why don't you finish this series? And after a while, I'm just like, uh, this has got, gotten boring. Okay, let's throw the grenade back on. Let's sell the minigun. I'm just trying to sell everything that's uh that's worth money. Maybe not everything, but an, an amount. But yeah, Australia is super far. I'd have to be on the plane for like, what, 12, 14 hours? It's, I'm on the opposite end of the world for it. Which would just kind of suck. Okay, so that's, that's an adequate amount of evasion. Uh, let's see, I don't have anything else on the floor. Personally, what I'd actually really like to do is, if we ever get to the point where, uh, if I ever get to the point where, like, the world, I guess I, if the world ever gets to a point where gigabit internet is universal, I am just going to probably move around the world, uh, and just experiment, uh, with, like, living in different places. I don't think I've ever melted this guy faster. I don't think I've ever actually fought this boss legitimately. <laughs> Or at least it doesn't feel legitimate. Holy shit. Oh. Huh. I don't think it's worth it. Like, baseline, I don't actually understand this weapon. It probably just does a lot of damage. Which scythe is better? Uh, for this run, absolutely the red pickaxe. Aldrin's second scythe? would be really good on a bear run, probably, maybe? Uh, but it's not worth it compared to ridiculous nonsense. Dad Dallas to Sydney is more like 19 hours. <gasps> yeah, I'm probably not gonna go to Australia until I can like fly first class, which is like stupid money, but like I don't wanna deal with being an economy on that. Like, for that distance. I barely enjoy being in the economy normally. Last time we flew, there was a baby behind us, and it was kicking Shell's seat. And, like, I wasn't even the victim of that baby. But it was enough to just make me, uh, make me just absolutely dislike the, uh, prospect. Okay. Cleared it up with Cryorus, and attack speed food is just a flat percent increase on your base attack speed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because it'd be so much more cool if it was, uh, pseudo-multiplicative. Okay. Yeah, if we get the gold bead, we get our, uh, evasion. 
but if you don't, I don't know. Business class is almost as nice as first and slightly cheaper. Sorry, business class. I actually have never flown business first or anything. My parents were legendarily, like, cheap people. Uh, and so, uh, the idea of even flying business class, uh, kind of makes me stressed out because it feels like a gross waste of money. I'm going to, I'm going to San Francisco, I think, for a day in about a week and a half. A little, little less than a week. No, no, no. About a week and a half, give or take. Um, wait, no shit. It's like next weekend. Ah! Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to San Francisco for as far as I can tell, just one single day. And that makes me feel really weird because it just seems like such a gross waste of money to even like do such a thing. But I'm doing it because a developer asked nicely, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if a developer ever is like, hey, you want to come out to our offices? I'd be like, hell yeah. Assuming that it's, like, economical for me to do so. Because the idea of doing so would be cool. I actually really want to, like, visit some indie studios. Like, if I ever go traveling around the world, or, like, around the country, I might see if I can, like, uh, visit, like, Kit Fox Games up in Canada. Uh, they look like they have a really nice office, and I'd love to, like, personally be like, You guys make cool games, thanks! And then probably leave. I don't know. You don't mind economy. You're probably small, then. I'm not that big, but I'm just big enough that it's, like, ridiculously uncomfortable for me. And, like, I know people that are, like, my brother, who's a good, what, solid four or five inches taller than me? And I just feel so bad for him. Actually, he flew... I think he's flying to Z New Zealand today. That poor kid. He's not a kid. He's actually pretty old, but whatever. <laughs> Set up a, a studio in an Ar Antarctica with gigabit internet and invite me. I would probably go with that, sure. I mean, obviously, that would probably be, like, really expensive just to set up, but it'd be funny. Let's see, would you visit any major studios if you're invited? Well, I'm going to Bandai, and, um, like, the studio I'm going to is Bandai. Uh, Namco Bandai? Uh, I'm gonna meet with the Japanese directors and producers of the Digimon series. I don't know if it's, uh, Next Order, or the Digimon World Games, or Cyber Sleuth, or what, but, uh... I am probably going to have an interesting time with that. Because, like, I've never done that before. I've, I've met a couple of developers at PAX when we were, like, standing around waiting in line, and I'm like, hey, let's talk about stuff. I uh, got to talk to the Tower of Guns developer for a while that way. And that was cool. But the idea of, like, going to their home turf and, you know, actually speaking to them about business stuff, now that's scary. Wander is actually 14. Wander is 28. But I act half my age, so yeah, I'm 14. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a weird old man. Yeah, so go to PAX Australia and call it a business trip. That is tor that is still torture. Also, like, unfortunately, uh, you know, mostly with those of you guys that, like, work for companies, if you do get, like, uh, you know, big corporate jobs or whatever, you might actually be able to finagle business class expenses and stuff like that. Uh, I am entirely self-employed and self-paid. So if I, uh, if I go first class or business, I'm footing the bill. And I mean, I guess you can write it out as a tax write-off, but that really doesn't actually make as much of a difference as you think it would. Okay, let's look at that evasion buff. Evasion! Attack speed. Oh. Okay, I probably don't need the gold gain at this point, so let's get some more max health. I could get some power. I could get some really cheap crit. Got a little bit more. Let's get the tomato soup and the onion soup. There we go. I know it's a little bit uh, much, but we're on the last level. I don't know. Okay, so we got up to 92%. If we had the gold bead, if we can manage to find the gold bead against all odds, 
we become evasion tank again. Mainly, I just get to be the machine gun man. Okay. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, if I want to, like, go on vacations, it's like, not only is it, uh, me paying for it, but it's also me, like, not working for that entire period. Part of the reason why, like, I kind of complain about my life being maybe a little bit, uh, monotonous is because, uh, stepping away for two weeks in January, uh, cut my sub amounts by, like, 20%, I think, which is, like, super terrifying. Uh, sub on, sub on Twitch, not YouTube. 20% on YouTube would be downright terrifying. I can't reach her. That's, well, go for the other ones. Okay, there we go, got it. And apparently there's another thing, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, could you try the shuriken boomerang with this attack speed? Uh, sure, though unfortunately I don't think it's actually going to do much of a thing. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see so I don't I actually don't have the shuriken or anything else unfortunately my attack speed increase is not nearly as substantial as you might think it would be uh, and it doesn't look like we've got anything currently viable oh there's somebody that's still alive oh it's just him less exciting yeah really the only reason why the uh, the attack speed is so notable is because of the weapon I'm using Okay, gold bead, no gold bead. Oh, I had it, but my inventory is full. Oh, that's fine. Like, ultimately, uh, the only reason why my attack speed looks stupid is because, uh, is because the red pickaxe is, is a ridiculous monstrosity, and not because my average attack speed is this high. That would be nuts. I would love that. Okay, what else? What other ridiculous things can I get? Mo movement speed. Don't care about gold drop. We could get... Let's get burn attack. Okay, and let's just go nuke the boss. <sighs> Shame no gold candy. Because, yeah, if I had the gold candy or... Yeah, I've got two pieces of evasion equipment on. And those are the only two I've seen the entire time. Note the chest items down the ground if your inventory is full. Yep. Uh, I just... I don't care to go back that much. Uh, the main problem is the... The the boomerang, which is probably what you're asking about. Uh, I don't think the boomerang is affected by attack speed in the slightest, which is super unfortunate. Okay, so we're just going to melt this guy. As usual. Which is going to be helpful. There we go. <laughs> oh, if only status effects did extra... Ex it was like a proc effect for bonus damage. Hey, new costume has been unlocked. I can play as this guy. Cool. Uh, all I needed to do is just utterly humiliate him with death. All right, now let's go try and fight the actual uh, last boss. Okay, you want to be mounted. We will. I will be done in approximately like three minutes, probably. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, my friends are waiting for me for mount your friends. Unfortunately, this run went just a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be fast, but I was more meat grinder than true fast. Okay, just kill him before he uses the one-shot attack. Uh, tried that last time, didn't work so hot. So, I'll probably just hit him and then back off and we'll, we'll look for openings. Okay, I evaded it. And, okay, there's phase one done without any damage.
and phase two. Not a single damage. Warm up is over. I don't think that annoying wizard is nearby. I shall now fulfill my destiny. Bah. How am I supposed to talk to her? Oh. You did well. I think we successfully sealed it off again thanks to you buying enough time. Stability is important. The first time we seal the dungeon. Let's leave for the meantime. Wait? Uh, can I hit it? I'm not supposed to... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to wait for. Okay. That's confusing. Oh, there we go. Well, uh, let's see. Let's hold on to her and that. Zoop. Well, that was a fun and ridiculous run. All right, chapter two. How does it feel to save the world? Although, it was really me who saved the world. Haha. -ha. I have sealed it tighter than before. As long as you don't go no nosing around, the demon lord probably won't come back. I'm not saying you should go nosing around. Did you ask that this is over? Originally, after you saved the world, it was empty. Okay, so we need to come back and kill him a couple more times, probably. That makes sense. Anyway, game clear. All of the all of the achievements. Yep, I have 100% of current achievements. Yes. Uh, anyway, so we're probably going to have to do that a couple more times, maybe to fight the full boss. Or maybe not. Maybe we're actually done. We'll see. Uh, so let's, can I, can I skip this? Th thanks, Team Hore. I'd, uh, I'd love to skip this. I want to see what the last character does before I go off to go play punch your friends. Ah, I've seen this before. Ah, yeah. ah. Why? Okay. Necessary for the last character, only one max HP can't be increased. Oh, that's terrifying. I mean, I'll do it. I'll have to see. Like, I will absolutely have to see what what he's about. Because... I, I, I gotta imagine it's ridiculous. He's gotta have something to make him worthwhile. I hope. Well, we'll see. The horse has a lot of detail. Yeah, that is a very nice horse. It almost looks like a Vagante horse more than a horse for this game. Maybe. Okay, he has a super big range sword. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll try and do it. Go look at the main character, uh, the new character. I wish I could. We're, st we're stuck here. We have to wait for uh, special thanks to come and go. Yeah, and there it goes. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep getting set up for the next game at the very least. But this is fun, and I'm probably going to start modding the shit out of the game uh, to, well, do more things with it. I probably won't do the criminal's silhouette uh, red pickaxe business again. Uh, but I will, I don't know. I'll see what other kind of weird business that I can do. Okay, uh, let's see. We want to go here. Boutique. So last character is Curse of Revival. HP is fixed to one. Can be revived twice when slain. Uh, plus 60 power, plus uh, minus 99% max health. Devil Swordsman. Revival doesn't always mean regeneration. Wow. That attack speed leaves a little bit to be desired. I can't wait to play with this guy. I don't know if I'm going to play with him immediately, though. We might. I might wait until we get the bead or something. Probably that. 